given the mass of the universe, how big would the black hole be that contained this much mass? It's the size of our universe to our horizon. Something is moving inside a black hole and the James Webb Telescope saw it. That alone should be impossible. Yet according to Neil deGrasse Tyson, this isn't just an odd glitch or shadow play. It's real motion detected inside the most forbidden zone in the universe, past the event horizon where nothing, not even light, should escape. What James Webb recorded has scientists stunned, and Tyson calls it one of the most terrifying discoveries in modern astrophysics. What did it see? Could this reshape our entire understanding of black holes? Stick with us. This changes everything. Black Hole Basics Black holes aren't just space objects. They're the final chapter in the life of massive stars. When a giant star runs out of fuel, it collapses under its own weight. What's left behind is a super dense point with a gravity so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. That's why we call it a black hole. Even though they're invisible, we know they're out there because of how they affect everything around them. They pull on nearby stars, twist light, and can even trigger X-ray blasts as they devour gas clouds. There are several kinds. Stellar black holes are the smallest, formed from a star just a few times the size of our sun. Intermediate black holes are rarer and heavier, thousands of times more massive. And then there are the giants, supermassive black holes, which sit at the centers of galaxies. These beasts can be billions of times more massive than the sun. At the heart of every black hole is something called a singularity, a point where space and time stop behaving normally. Our current physics can't fully explain what's happening inside. It's one of the biggest open questions in science. In our own galaxy, the Milky Way, there's a black hole named Sagittarius A. It's pretty big, millions of times the mass of the sun, but even that isn't the largest. Our neighboring galaxy, Andromeda, has an even bigger one. This has sparked what some scientists jokingly call black hole envy, but it's also opened up a bigger conversation about what black holes are really doing out there and what they might be hiding. Neil deGrasse Tyson's reveal. When Neil deGrasse Tyson talks, people listen, especially when he drops cosmic surprises. One of his most interesting revelations was this. The black hole at the center of the Milky Way is less massive than the one in the nearby Andromeda galaxy. It may sound like a small detail, but it changes how we think about our place in the universe. For a long time, people thought of the Milky Way as one of the more powerful galaxies, but Andromeda's central black hole is bigger, stronger, and more dominant. That matters. A black hole's size affects how stars move, how galaxies evolve, and how gravity shapes space. Andromeda's larger black hole could mean that it's had a more intense history of feeding on stars, merging with smaller galaxies, or simply forming earlier in the life of the universe. Tyson's observation made people pause and wonder, if we're not the biggest, what else are we not seeing? What does that tell us about black holes and how they control what happens in space? This comparison sparked new interest in looking deeper, literally into what's happening at the heart of galaxies. It pushed scientists to ask whether we can really see inside these black holes. Are we getting close to peering beyond the surface and into the unknown? Thanks to this insight, more people are beginning to realize that black holes aren't just theoretical objects. They're central to understanding how the universe works, and maybe even where it all began. Event Horizon to Singularity Most of what we know about black holes stops at the event horizon the invisible boundary where things disappear forever. Once something crosses that point, it can't come back, not even light. That's why we can't see inside, but we're getting better at looking right up to the edge. What lies beyond the event horizon? The best guess is the singularity, a point where matter is crushed into infinite density. Space and time twist so much that our physics simply doesn't work anymore. It's like hitting a wall with our current understanding of the universe. Einstein's theory of general relativity gets us close, but it breaks down when gravity gets this extreme. That's why scientists believe we need something else, a new theory that combines gravity with the strange world of quantum mechanics. This is where things get exciting. 
New tools like the Event Horizon Telescope are allowing us to map the space just outside black holes. In 2019, we got our first image of a black hole's shadow, proving we could observe them in action. What we're hoping for now is a clearer picture of what happens as matter falls inward. How does energy behave? Are there clues in the swirling gas and light that surround the event horizon? By observing more black holes, scientists hope to spot patterns, tiny changes that might hint at what's inside. It's a puzzle, but every new piece brings us closer to answering one of the biggest questions in all of science. What really happens in a black hole? Quantum gravity, the loop theory. To really understand what happens inside a black hole, we need more than Einstein's equations. That's where quantum gravity steps in. A kind of super science that blends gravity with the rules of tiny particles. One major idea is loop quantum gravity, OLQG. It flips how we think about space and time. Instead of being smooth and continuous, LQG says space-time is made of tiny loops, like atoms of space. At the smallest scale, the fabric of the universe is chunky. Now this is where things get really interesting. If LQG is right, then when something collapses into a black hole, it doesn't shrink to an infinitely small point. Instead, it hits a minimum size, then bounces back. That bounce could create a new region of space-time. Not a dead end, but a rebirth. This could solve the problem of singularities, where our math breaks down. It might also explain how the universe began, if the Big Bang itself was a bounce from a previous universe. In the case of black holes, this bounce means that what's inside might not be a mysterious void after all. It could be a portal to somewhere else, or even the beginning of a new universe. These ideas are still being tested, but they offer hope. Instead of seeing black holes as destructive pits, we might view them as cosmic engines, places where the universe recycles itself. Beyond basics, charged and rotating black holes. Not all black holes are created equal. Most people think of them as simple black voids, but in reality, some are incredibly complex. They can spin, carry electric charge, or even do both. A Reissner Nordstrom black hole has electric charge, but no spin. It has not one, but two horizons. The outer one, event horizon, and an inner one called the Cauchy horizon. What lies between them is still a mystery. Now add rotation. That gives you a Kerr-Newman black hole, one that's both charged and spinning. These black holes are anything but simple. As they rotate, they actually drag the space around them. This is called frame dragging and it could make time behave in strange ways. Inside these exotic black holes, the rules of physics twist even further. The Cauchy horizon deep inside raises big questions. Some scientists think it could hide other universes. Others think it marks the breakdown of cause and effect. We haven't seen these types directly, but the math supports their existence. And if we could detect signs of spin and charge, it would change everything showing us that black holes aren't just places where things disappear, but gateways full of untapped potential. Each variation adds layers of complexity. Charged and spinning black holes challenge how we think about reality and force us to ask, what's really hiding beyond the event horizon? Advanced black hole classes. When do we talk about black holes, we often focus on the massive ones at galaxy centers. But the universe hosts a family of black holes, each with its own backstory. First, there are the intermediate mass black holes. These are the cosmic middleweights, heavier than stellar black holes, but lighter than the giants. They're tough to find, but clues suggest they exist in places like star clusters. Then come the super massive black holes, millions to billions of times more massive than the sun. These monsters sit at the heart of galaxies and shape how galaxies grow and evolve. Next, we have something totally different. Primordial black holes. These are tiny, ancient black holes that might have formed right after the Big Bang. Some scientists think they could explain dark matter, the mysterious stuff that makes up most of the universe. And finally, there are the theoretical extremes, extremal black holes. These are black holes that spin or charge at the maximum possible limit. They live on the edge of what's physically allowed and push our equations to the breaking point. Each type tells us something new about how the universe works, 
From galaxy formation to the early seconds after the Big Bang, black holes aren't just cosmic traps. They're clues scattered across space, waiting to be understood. Observation tools, telescopes, and techniques. To learn what's really inside a black hole, we can't just fly in fun. We have to watch from a distance. Thankfully, modern astronomy gives us powerful tools. One of the most important is the Very Large Telescope, VLT, in Chile. It watches how stars move around our galaxy's black hole, Sagittarius A. The way these stars orbit helps scientists figure out the black hole's mass and pull. Another key tool is the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, a planet-sized array of radio telescopes. In 2019, it gave us the first ever image of a black hole shadow in Galaxy M87. That iconic orange ring wasn't just a picture, it was proof. Coming soon is the extremely large telescope, ELT, still under construction. It will be able to study black holes in greater detail than ever before, watching how matter swirls around them and falls in. There's also gravity, an instrument that zooms in on the heart of our galaxy with incredible precision. It helps map the strong gravity fields around black holes in real time. With these tools, scientists compare real data with theoretical predictions. If something behaves differently than expected, it could mean new physics or even a hint at what's inside. The Wormhole and Time Travel Angle Here's where black holes cross into sci-fi territory. Wormholes and time travel. These ideas aren't just fantasy. They're grounded in real physics, even if still theoretical. A wormhole is a shortcut through space-time. Some theories suggest black holes might hide them. If true, it could connect distant parts of the universe, or even one universe to another. Neil deGrasse Tyson and others have discussed the idea that, under the right conditions, a black hole might lead somewhere else. This could change how we see space travel entirely. There's also time dilation. Near a massive black hole, time moves slower. If you spent one year close to a black hole, decades could pass elsewhere. This isn't fiction. It's predicted by Einstein's relativity. Another wild idea? Closed time-like curves. These theoretical paths could loop through time, letting you return to your own past. They remain unproven, but mathematically possible. While none of this has been confirmed, black holes offer a unique stage where these mind-bending ideas might one day become reality. Whether as portals or time machines, they push the limits of what's imaginable. Risks and rewards. Could we approach a black hole? People often ask, what happens if we go near a black hole? The answer is fascinating and terrifying. As you get close to the event horizon, gravity becomes stronger. The closer side of your body is pulled harder than the far side. This effect is called spaghettification. You'd be stretched like a noodle. Even without going in, strange effects happen. The black hole's spin drags space around it, twisting your view of time and direction. This is frame dragging, and it's been observed around spinning black holes. But don't worry, Earth is safe. The nearest black hole is thousands of light years away, and our own galaxy's supermassive black hole is far from being a threat. Some people wonder, what if our galaxy collides with Andromeda in four billion years? While that's real, the odds of Earth falling into a black hole remain incredibly low. Still, black holes remind us how extreme the universe can be. They're not just cosmic threats. They're challenges to our understanding of nature. Why this matters. All of this, from spinning black holes to wormholes, might sound like science fiction, but it's deeply tied to real science and our understanding of the cosmos. Neil deGrasse Tyson's insight about our black hole being smaller than Andromeda's reminds us that we're part of something much bigger. It's a humbling thought. Earth orbits a modest black hole, while other galaxies host monsters. Studying black holes pushes science to its limits. It forces physicists to find a unified theory that blends gravity with quantum mechanics. That's the holy grail of modern physics. Every new image or measurement brings us closer. It sparks new questions, inspires new ideas, and sometimes even reshapes what we thought we knew. Even if we never set foot inside a black hole, understanding them brings us closer to understanding the universe itself, how it began, how it works, and where it's going. 
And maybe one day, black holes won't just be cosmic mysteries. They'll be tools we use to explore time, space, or even distant galaxies. Subscribe now, because the universe isn't done surprising us. And neither are we.